Hi, this is Dr. Sri Lakshmi. Today, let us discuss about the treatmental protocol for the hair loss. Before going to the treatmental aspect, let us know the types of the hair loss and the causative factors. Diffuse hair loss, androgenic alopecia, alopecia areata, and the alopecia totalis. And diffuse hair loss means here. Hair follicle compels to go into the dormancy period, it leads to the hair loss. The main causative factors are hemoglobin deficiency. Here, the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood is going to decrease and the cellular energy production is going to disturb and cell multiplication is going to disturb. And uh, if the person is suffering from the scalp disorders like dandruff, eczema, seborrheic dermatitis and the psoriasis, it weakens the root and it leads to the hair loss. The differential diagnosis of the psoriasis and the dandruff is the person complains of scales in the frontal hairline and the, the nape of the neck and the behind the ear. And next, if the person is suffering from hormonal imbalance, especially hypothyroidism, the moisture content absorbed from the skin leads to the dryness of the skin. Uh, it leads to the dandruff. Nutritional deficiency. If the especially protein deficiency it leads to the thinning of the hair, uh, the decreased supply of the amino acids to the shaft of the hair leads to the hair loss. And physical strain, it leads to the energy drain and the, the hair follicle, it uh, jumps from the energen phase to the telogen phase. Uh, as you know that hair follicle undergoes three stages, energen, that is the growth phase, ketogen, that is the resting phase and the telogen shedding phase. And uh, mental stress, here, uh, macro circulation is going to increase. If the stress is increased, then it decreases the micro circulation to the hair follicle. So, vasoconstriction occurs. Uh, finally, it leads to the hair loss. And uh, if a person is suffering from high fevers and post surgeries and in uh, minor accidents, the hair follicles compelled to go into the dormancy period ultimately it leads to the hair loss. Next, uh, if uh, continuous exposure to the pollution of using harsh chemicals, it affects the physical structure of the hair and it weakens the roots, leads to the hair loss. Next, uh, polycystic ovarian diseases, so hormonal imbalance factors, these are all leads to the diffused hair loss. Next, coming to the alopecia, androgenic alopecia. This is the uh, this can be found in both males and females. This is a pattern thinning of the hair that due to increases in the testosterone level, that is the male hormone. Here, uh, the main reason for the androgenic alopecia is uh, presence of androgenic receptors in the dermal papilla. In the males, you can see in the frontal hairline, androgenic receptors are present and the females in the crownal part. Two free follicles of the uh, testosterone with help, it catalyzes with the enzyme called 5 alpha reductase. It converts into the testosterone into dihydrotestosterone. So, the main positive factors for the excessive production of the testosterone is excessive consumption of the uh, carbohydrates and the estrogen insufficiency in the females and the menopausal stage and the steroidal injections and the uh, hypothyroidism. Here in androgenic alopecia, the uh, shrinkage of the hair follicle occurs. It is called the miniaturization. Here in the miniaturization stage, if not treated, it goes to the senescent stage. Here, stem cell lost its activity. Cell death occurs. Then uh, the regrowth of the hair follicle is not possible. In androgenic alopecia, we diagnose on the Norbert scale in the uh, female, in the males. And for the females, we use uh, Ludwig scale. In Norway scale, seven grades are present. In grade one, we see the mild receding of the hairline. In grade two, formation of the shallow M shape. Uh, and in grade three, deepening of the M shape and the formation of uh, O. And in grade four, deepening of both M shape and the O. In the grade five, use uh, U with the frontal patch you will see. And grade uh, six, deepening of the U shape. And the grade 7 only donor area is present in the occipital region. In first three grades, we use a uh, treatment like uh, topical application, external treatments, uh, serums and uh, oils. And in grade 4 and 5, you can go for mesotherapy and the PRP treatment. And in grades uh, 6 and 7, 
option is only for the head transplantation either FUE follicular unit extraction or the strip method. In female pattern baldness we use the Ludwig scale in the three stages in the grade 1 uh, mild widening of the crownal part and the grade 2 uh, well defined crownal uh, widening of the crownal area we can see in grade 3 only hair line is uh, preserved. The alopecia areata this is the uh, patchy hair loss we can see this is an autoimmune disorder the person's own immunity is going to affect it when coming to the treatmental aspect uh, externally topical applications and the internally vitamins uh, intake and uh, uh, dietary corrections and the lifestyle modifications topical applications like minoxidil you can apply it is having very good results proven results and uh, some of the oils like you can take one part of the compressed organic coconut oil. So uh, with that you have to add one fourth part of this lavender oil and the argon plant oil, cedar wood oil and the jojoba oil. All these you can mix it and two to three drops of the rosemary oil. Uh, you can use it daily uh, and uh, massage to your roots of your hair. And next uh, you can uh, use onion juice because as it contains the sulfur and the vitamin C and the potassium and the zinc. It promotes the uh, hair regrowth and the premature graying of the hair you can prevent by applying the onion juice. And the garlic juice, it contains the selenium essential mineral and it is useful uh, to the cleanses of the scalp and the uh, dandruff. And if, the, if you are suffering from the dandruff, you can use uh, ketoconazole shampoo and uh, neem oil you can mix it with the tulsi oil and uh, mix it with the fenugreek powder make it a pack and uh, apply to the roots of your hair and make a protein pack uh, by mixing henna and the bringaraja powder and the amlaki powder and the fenugreek powder uh, mix uh, all these uh, ingredients and make it a powder and uh, use it as a protein pack for your day to day life uh, biotin, uh, adequate quantity of the biotin in TK is uh, needed. Uh, enough quantity of the biotin is present in the eggs. So, two eggs per day is uh, advisable. And biotin is also present in tomatoes and uh, potatoes. Um, good omega-3 fatty acids are present in salmon fish and uh, cod liver oil. If it all you are vegetarians, you can go for flax seeds. And you have to take uh, zinc in adequate quantity. So, day to day life, what we are taking, the vegetables and the um, fresh fruits are not uh, enough to get the zinc. So, better to go for multivitamin capsules. And in uh, your diet, you have to add uh, soybeans, black pepper, and the strawberries, and sesame seeds, and the mushrooms. As you know, mushrooms contain uh, rare uh, essential minerals. Abundance of uh, uh, essential minerals are present in uh, daisy mushrooms, especially and uh, spinach carrot juice uh, you these are all the things you have to add to your uh, diet. internal supplements uh, like DHT blocker pills um, remember biogen is not a uh, DHT blocker it is very important to select the right DHT blocker pill to regrow your hair to prevent the hair loss and the baldness mainly DHT, blo DHT blocker pills must contain seven ingredients first one is the sa palmito it acts similar as a fenestroid and it's a research uh, proved herbal drug 200 mg per day and the second one is a quercetin is a plant derived flavonoid a protein called pgd2 prostaglandin d2 it is directly linked to the hair loss so quercetin is the second ingredient a dhc blocker pill must have and the third one is stinging nettle root it is having tremendous antioxidant and the anti-inflammatory properties and it is uh, helpful for the, it blocks the free radical damage. The fourth one is pumpkin seeds. It is said to be the God gifted supernatural foods to the hair loss patients. It contains the compounds like delta 7 steroid and beta cytosterol and the zinc uh, which is uh, helpful for the uh, prevention of the hair loss. And next fifth one is mushrooms. Mushrooms contains rare essential minerals and it is uh, inhib it inhibits the 5-alpha reductase enzyme activity. And the sixth one is pysium bark. It is a very good head to promote your uh, hair regrowth. And the seventh one is uh, selenium is essential mineral. 
If your age is uh, 50 plus, better the option is a hair transplantation, FUE technique method. And if the, your age is 30 plus, uh, don't go for other treatments except platelet rich plasma PRP and the mesotherapy. So, if you are suffering from the hair loss, then um, first rule out what is the causative factor. So, use ammonia free uh, shampoos or the dyes. And uh, use uh, perfect uh, hair oil and uh, take proper supplements. Then if it is not giving any results, then go for the treatment.